We are back now with the incredibly talented actor, Ginny Gar. Of course, she is known for her iconic role as Kelly Taylor in the pop culture phenomenon, Beverly Hills 90210. So that character inspired Jenny's latest venture, a clothing line, and she is live with us to talk all about it. Jenny, good morning. Good morning. Hello. So good, good to morning. see you. Thanks for being here. Yeah. You know, we're, we're going to talk about that project in a moment, but of course, we wanted to share condolences. Uh, mm. You lost your friend and castmate, uh, Shannon Dougherty, earlier, and uh, I just wanted to know what what when you heard about this what was the reaction what I, I assume you're probably still processing it oh absolutely it's still really fresh still processing the grief um and i was i was in shock because we all knew that shannon was fighting cancer for a long time but i don't know there was just something about her she was such a fighter and a pro i just didn't think that would happen for some reason mm. so it was pretty shocking for well, all of us it's um I, and I think that the nation actually shares in that grief. And I, I had heard that Jason Priest actually reached out to you after, and correct me if I'm wrong, after she passed. What's it like? What have, what have your guys' conversations been like? What's it been like to talk to with the cast about, about Shannon's passing? It is always nice to have your brothers and sisters from that experience be able to support one another in all yeah. kinds, in happy times and in sad times now. And so it just brings us closer, mm. you know. I was just looking at this photo. Can we put this photo back up of you guys as a team? And I, mm. it took me back to living in Wichita, Kansas, and I thought I was cool just by watching <laughs> you guys. You know what I mean? I was probably a little young on the younger side, mm. um, but you guys were just so iconic. And so I love the fact that now when I heard you're doing this clothing line um, that was a bit inspired uh, by your character, and then I love what you're wearing right now, and you just told me that this is one of the uh, this things. is one of our designs. I, I will, yes. My paycheck will go to that. So, yeah. <laughs> so talk to me about what inspired it and, and what we can expect. Well, it was originally inspired by Kelly's bold I choose me statement right. when she had to pick between Brandon and Dylan. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah. good. Oh, legendary. Yes, yeah. Yes. So I really wanted to take that statement of I choose me and bring it forward and Ooh. continue to empower young girls as it did in the 90s. And women, moms, their grandmas, everybody, this this line is really for all women. Mm. And um, we are so, so proud of it. I've been designing it with my daughter, Lola. Okay. She's here. Oh, and she's right. here? Two of my girls are here with me. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys. Oh, my goodness. How Hi, Lola. Are they? How old are they? Lola is 21. She is my biz partner. And oh, you have like women. I know. <laughs> yeah. Fiona is almost 18. Oh, there wow. you go. And, 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 and in fact, you, you does, which daughter did you design a prom dress for who's now working with you? Lola. Lola. Oh, really? This is the one on the left there. Well, Hi. What was that like working <laughs> with mom? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Lola, what was that like? It's been such a valuable experience. We've been having so much fun. Yeah. It's been really great. <laughs> Have you always had that in you to want to design and create? And I'm, I love, I love to make things pretty. I love mm. to teach people and help people. So I kind of combined everything that I love. At 50, I said, "What do I want to do next?" Mm. And I really decided that I wanted to continue to pay that forward. So it's so clear that this uh, iconic line, "I choose me," has stuck with you in a major way because it's not, it's not only this, but it's also your podcast is, is named yeah. after the line as yeah. well. And you're having such interesting conversations, including one with your ex-husband. Why, why do you, about co-parenting and what life is like, why have you chosen to sort of open up in that way in addition to everything else you're doing? Well, the podcast was the original, the first movement, and we wanted to just be able to talk to other people. There's so many people dealing with divorce and co-parenting, and it's a, it's a tricky, slippery mm. slope, and we've certainly had our challenges with it with Peter and I, but we're so proud of our daughters and we just reached this place in our life where we just didn't want to have any more drama. We wanted to come together finally and just, you know, unite our families. He mm -hmm. has a new son and I have a husband and it's just, you know, much better together. A lot of folks dealing with that, so that's great mm -hmm. you yeah, can yeah, share yeah, with that. Yeah, we wanted to that's talk really about terrific. the highs and the lows. Yeah. I love that. Jenny, thank you so much. It's so great to it's see so you. It's so nice to see you. Thank, thank you for being here. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.